I asked AI to create the perfect manager in FM24, and here is what it came up with. After inputting the prompt into ChatGPT, it noted that creating the perfect manager in FM24 involves a combination of attributes, tactics, and management style. So this is what we are going to focus on today. As far as the manager profile is concerned, the name is your choice. The age will be between 35 and 45, that way there's some experience, but also they can still have a long career. And finally, the nationality will be based on whatever league we want them to manage in. As far as the attributes are concerned, ChatGPT has absolutely cooked here, as everything is a 20 for the attributes, which is going to make them a fantastic coach. Additionally, looking at the tactical style and playing style, for the most part, they're going to be playing a Gegenpress or Control Possession tactic, something similar to what we might see Jurgen Klopp or Pep Guardiola do in-game, and predominantly playing a 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1. This is reflected in the different tactics that ChatGPT wants our perfect manager to play. First up, we have a 4-3-3 formation with a Gegenpress style and a more attacking mentality. With our secondary tactic being somewhat similar, a 4-2-3-1 formation with a more controlled possession style. And this is the AI created perfect manager in FM24. Just as they said, we have named them your choice. They are 40 years old, so they are right between that 35 and 45 year range. And finally, we have made them English in the hope that they might get into and manage a Prem team. Additionally, ChatGPT aptly gave all of their attributes a 20, so all coaching attributes, including goalkeeper coaching, as well as knowledge and mental attributes are all 20, so theoretically by attributes they should be the best coach in the world. I have made their preferred formation that 4-3-3 DMY, just as ChatGPT said, and their second preferred formation will be a 4-2-3-1. So we have everything here set up to the specifications that ChatGPT outlined for us. All of this in tandem does give them a current ability of 200, which is the highest a manager can have in the game, and I have also given them the highest reputation possible to give them the best opportunity to get signed, as we currently have them as a free agent. Finally, ChatGPT outlined that they wanted this manager to have a Gegenpress or controlled possession style of play. So what I did was I went into Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola's hidden attributes, and I looked at the different attributes that outline their style of play. These are things like the attacking, how attacking they are, how high is the defensive line, how direct are they, how fluid do they allow their teams to be, how often do they trigger the press, so on and so forth. And Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp have that Gegen Press controlled possession style. So I've kind of combined Guardiola and Klopp's different attributes into our AI manager here to give them that Gegen Press controlled possession style of play that they're looking for. And with that being said, this is what the manager looks like. Your choice is a 40-year-old Englishman who is starting off as a free agent. So if we go back here, as we can see, no club job, no international job. And we are just going to look forward and see how he does. So I'm going to start off by simulating a few years into the future. Let's see where his first job came and how he's doing then. I will see you all in a little bit. Welcome back. We are on July 3rd, 2027, four years into the future. And although your choice doesn't have a club or international job right now, that is because he has only recently left his job. Let's see who we got hired by. And that's right. He was hired in 2023 by Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag in-game was fired in the first season, and they selected your choice to become the next manager of Man United. He would have the job for about two and a half seasons. He gets the job November 22nd, 2023, and then he was fired on May 16th, 2026. So going back to that first season, as we can see here, United had a pretty rough start to the season. Uh, a couple losses here, another loss to City, another loss to Newcastle. So really not doing so well. A number of draws in there too. However, 
The first match that he would have been in charge after consecutive draws and Eric Ten Hag being fired would have been right after the international break against Arsenal, where he immediately started with a 3-0 loss at home. Not a great way to get things going, but after that, uh, ooh, I would say a pretty good run of games, especially in December, making the Carabao Cup final and winning the Carabao Cup final in season one. So a very, very similar to Eric Ten Hag, where he won the Carabao Cup final in his first season as well. Your choice winning it against Arsenal. Revenge for that first match where they lost 3-0. But looking how they did later on, not a very good end to the season here. Losing to Arsenal, drawing Fulham, losing to Liverpool, losing to Brighton. So not the greatest first season in charge. So in that first season, United would finish in seventh place, and that was enough to put them in the Europa Conference League the following season. Looking at season two, it was a bright start in the Europa Conference League. They did lose to AZ. They got knocked out in the Carabao Cup third round. It looks like they're doing pretty well in the league too, although, wow, a really poor run of form January and February. But what I'm curious in is that Europa League, or Europa Conference League round of 16, quarterfinal, semifinal, did they win it? They lost to Bologna 1-0. Your choice could not add to his trophy cabinet. I will say that is extremely poor on his end. This should have been a trophy that they won. However, he was not fired because it seems like he guided United back into the Champions League, finishing in fourth in season two. But we're only one season away, I believe, from him being fired. And sure enough, he was fired the following season. And looking at like a lot of, they weren't losing many games early, but so many draws. Those draws must have been awful. A, a finally, a loss to Newcastle at home. I mean, wow, they lost a lot of matches towards the end of the season, losing in the FA Cup semifinal, losing to Juventus in the round of 16. And I think they got knocked out early of the Carabao, Carabao Cup fourth round to City. A really poor showing the next season. Yeah, we can see why they were why he was fired at the end of the season. And at that point, he had only guided United to a seventh place finish. Only enough for the Europa League, so not not really great spell of management for your choice. So it is a bit of a weird start for our AI manager, but how will they do in the future? Can they get a new job? Can they bounce back? Let's move forward in time to find out. And we have moved forward to July 1st, 2033. Your choice is now 50 years old, and he is the head coach of Juventus. This is your choice's second job. He was hired after a season out of the game. He was hired as the Juventus head coach in 2028. And he has been there for a solid five seasons. But the real question is, how has he done in five seasons? In season one, Juventus were in fourth place. So how did he do thereafter? Next season, fourth place again, but making the Champions League. Then getting third in 2030-31 season. And then he won the league, our AI perfect manager, the Juventus head coach, your choice, has won his first league title. Will that be the first of many to come? How did they do the next season? Oh, they finished fourth. Oh, they dropped back down. Well, that's interesting. I'm curious how they did everywhere else. So it looks like they made the UEFA Champions League league phase but didn't get past the league phase. They lost the Italian Cup. Oh, no, no, no. They won the Italian Cup final. Okay, so Juventus winning at least the Italian Cup and winning Serie A. So in the following season, they lost to Palermo in the Italian Cup final on pens. That's a poor result. And they made the Champions League quarterfinal but lost out to PSG. The following season, no Italian Cup final, lost in the quarterfinals to Inter, and then getting knocked out in the Champions League round of 16 to PSG again, this time on pens. Following that, oh, Real Hispalis beating them in the 
Champions League knockout playoff round. And no, it, where did they get knocked out in the Italian? Third round to Sassuolo. It's actually been a bit downhill. And then finally getting knocked out in the Italian Cup final. 1-0 to AC Milan. He has made a number of Italian Cup finals. Looking at the history and the past winners. He's made, he won this one and then made two of them but lost the other ones. I would say so far it's been a bit of a mixed bag for our perfect AI manager. Because again, looking at his milestones and the notable ones, I mean, it's been interesting. He's won, I guess he won the Italian Super Cup as well. He was the Serie A champions, but only once. And only the Carabao Cup winners for United. So in all the time he's been manager, I guess he's technically won five trophies but two of them were in italian super cups so only really three major trophies so let's see if he can build on this with juventus and how his career is going to go i'm going to go forward about five seasons or so let's see how he's doing then and the big news that i have for you all is this is it at 55 years old this is the last time we see your choice in the game after this season he actually retires so not a super long career, I mean a decent career, a 15-year management career for your choice, our AI perfect manager. But again, the question is, in the last five seasons, did he win anything? So what I'm seeing here is an extremely interesting job history. He was hired by Spurs. In 2034, he leaves Juventus to be hired by Spurs. But then he goes back to Manchester United, where he subsequently gets fired on February of 2038. And that is when he retires. Manchester United literally ended his career. So I did quickly look through to see if he won anything else with Juventus. He did not. So we're going to skip straight to Spurs. He was hired in May of 2034. Let's see how he did with them. So he was hired at the very end of the 2034-35 season. I don't think he technically got the Europa Conference League final win. I didn't see that in his achievements, so I don't think this one counted. So we're going to skip forward to the 2035-36 season. And looking at the 2035-36 season, how did he do here? Carabao Cup quarter final. Did he he made the Carabao Cup final? And he won the Carabao Cup final. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so he is a Carabao Cup specialist, winning with Man United, and now winning with Spurs. And he has brought a major trophy to Tottenham. That might be the greatest achievement of them all. He also did pretty good with Spurs in the league, finishing in fourth place on 74 points, so a pretty solid outing there. So that takes us into the 2036-37 season where they won the Friendly Cup. We'll, we'll take that. That is a victory as well. A bit of a tough start to the season here. Not a bit of a tough start to the Champions League league phase as well, but a much better run of form through October and November. A bit of a poor run in December. They're going late in the Caribou Cup quarterfinal as well. Did they make the Carabao Cup final again? They beat United here. But they lost. They did make the Carabao Cup final again from the looks of it. And they're doing well in the Champions League league phase. And they won the Carabao Cup final again. Your choice is having a phenomenal run with Spurs. Two Carabao Cups. Doing well in the Champions League. Doing well in the league. Wow, he's doing amazing. And he's doing great. So Champions League, they knocked out Barcelona in the round of 16. They locked out Leverkusen in the quarterfinals. And the semifinals against his former club. He beat Juventus, tied at home 2 2. And then on pens, Tottenham have made, Spurs have made a Champions League final. How did they do? They won it. Your choice has won it against Chelsea. Jack Heath, who are you with an 83rd minute winner? And Spurs are Champions League winners. Your choice has a Champions League. There it is. And the 2036-37 season right before he leaves. Your choice has a Champions League title. That is insane. And looking at his milestones, 
He won four trophies with Spurs. He did get that Europa Conference League right at the end of the season. And his first, his first game in charge, he won a trophy with Spurs. He was the one who brought the trophies to Tottenham, winning two Carabao Cups and the UEFA Champions League. Why did you leave? Mate, why did you leave? You were, he, had, he had the Champions League. He was winning trophies. And then he left to go to Man United. And I can already see here, he was fired as the head coach of United due to the club's poor league position. Mate, why did you leave? He was doing so well with Spurs. And then United literally killed his career. And sure enough, last season, United finished in eighth place. That's not great. And around February, let's see how they did. I mean... Is this last season? They weren't doing that bad. Like looking at it, they, oh, they actually made the Club World Championship semifinal. That's interesting. But they actually weren't doing that bad at the beginning of the season. Why did he get, oh, uh, oh, oh, wow. Well, this is why he got fired that run in February. I think that's poor from United though. They didn't do that well the rest of the season. And they lost the Europa League final without your choice. I think United have pulled a poor one here. He had a bit of bad run in form, but he could have turned it around. Well, such a disappointing end of the career of your choice. Right when it was starting to heat up, he retired. Right when it was starting to heat up. I mean, look at his milestones. He won the Champions League with Spurs. And then he left to go to United. Absolute career-killing move. He never, the only place he got fired was twice at Manchester United, once at the beginning and once at the end. United killed the perfect manager's, the AI perfect manager's career. Well, that is the story of your choice, ChatGPT's perfect manager. I will leave his biography up here so that you all can read it. But I think there was so much potential here. That was just starting to get realized only for him to be fired by United and then retire at the ripe old age of 55. But that being said, I hope you all have enjoyed this football manager experiment. I hope you all are doing well and I hope you all are taking care of yourselves. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.